Go ahead and hit that button. Uh, I'm here with my friend Yos, uh, who is the uh, impressioning Meister yet again. Uh, two times over? Three times over? No, um, two times. Two times over? Very good. He uh, got the trophy and the watch and everything. Um, I, <laughs> I, however, failed to open today um, during the competition. Yos gave me a little bit of training earlier, but I want to see more. Um, so, can you just walk us through opening a cylinder? Sure, cool. Awesome, excellent, very good. Uh, well, uh, as you may or may not know, I uh, used to bring my own setup. It's, yeah. a, it's a cheapo, cheapo workbench. Uh, it's definitely not the best uh, available, <laughs> but it's mine. And so, it's always the correct height. Uh, you're sure you don't have to share a table with somebody else. I mean, the table will be shaken, and there's always shortage of tables. What I normally do, I mean, files are the most important tools. Uh, if I uh, move them, uh, I put some tubing on them so they, uh, they don't get, uh, well, you, you don't. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I use Manfrotto clamps. Uh, these got rec recommended uh, by a good friend, uh, John Sand from London. And they're, they're actually theatre clamps. They used to, uh, uh, normally they used to hang on big lamps to... Uh, and they, they grip quite good. Uh, what I also use is a uh, Kruplin uh, measuring device. This you can see uh, uh, if your cuts are deep uh, enough. And, so, and I put some, some, some stuff on it. So, so and that's each of the cuts typically yeah, of that, that's, that's Abus specifically? That, this is Abus specifically. I mean, all the games, uh, as far as we go now, is always on the Abus C. Uh, 83, 38? I can't remember, yeah. Yeah, but those. Yep. So y you know your measurements, uh, so that's helpful. What I also use is this. It's a normal core that I filed off. So you can see that if you have markings, if they're actually on the right spot. So Very you know, good. So you know where you have to And then what I also use <laughs> is a tool that was made by Jort. What this does, this is a modified Ibis uh, cylinder. And instead of pins, it has very nasty pins in them. Um, so I use this KGS tool to make scratches on uh, the blank. So I know exactly where to start filing. Excellent. And that gives you all the spacing? Uh, yes. Awesome. <laughs> and that takes off a good amount of material every time. Absolutely. This is a uh, Grobet. I believe it's a... Uh, Swiss uh, brand. It's a Swiss cut number four, and it's a uh, it's very fine. Well, now it's uh, this is supposed to be a one 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 key. I don't check this normally. It's just a tiny bit too deep. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. But they're all pretty consistent. Yeah, yeah. But consistency is key in this uh, this type of court. I mean, your jiggle movements should shouldn't vary that much. I mean, it should all be the same. Uh, except when you don't get marks, because then you, you do have to alter, because uh, it's not showing anything. But uh, the good thing about being that consistent is uh, if I now see a mark, I know I did this, so if I keep on alterating my movements, then it will may uh, turn up with, with marks that you're not used to. So then you go like, is this a real mark? Should I ignore this or not? So always try to do it exactly the same. will get you the most consistent results. So, well, so you jiggle a bit, so turn, jiggle, turn, jiggle a couple of times. And then you should check for marks. I see a quite clear one on number two, and a not so clear one on number three. Now, the, so I'm going to take number two off. So one step down. That should be, that's about right. I leave number three, because I'm not sure about it. You have to be sure. At least if you have the choice, leave it. Because I'm not sure about it. And what I could do maybe is just a little tad to flatten it up. Okay, just to sort of clean the surface. Yes. Again? Okay. So no, no pressure on the file whatsoever. Just uh, don't want to actually take stuff off. Just want to make it smooth. No, nothing on three, but a very definite mark on number two. Okay. And as you uh, as you get a pin to the right height, do you start seeing marks elsewhere? Mm. If you're not seeing marks already, is that a, is that something that you ever worry about? It's, well, if you, if you don't see nothing at all, 
You can't just start filing. I mean, so, so then you alter your movements or maybe a bit more pressure. I didn't see nothing uh, really now, so I'm, I'm altering my movements. Oh, yeah, that's a lot different. That's a lot different, yeah. You see people with, with grips with, with foamy stuff on it, but I tried it once. I don't like it because that'll uh, challenge you to actually use force. So you go like, oh, and then it's, it's quite hard to, uh, to not break the key. So if I do this, you see that you know that I'm in trouble. Yeah. And now I get a mark. I get tons of marks. I got one on one, on uh, no, on two, on three, and on four. Wow. And a possible of five. So I'm taking two. I step down. And I'm gonna just clean up on five. Okay, just cleaning off the yep. the possible marks. You're yeah. Sure. And again. I uh, get a biggie on two and a biggie on four. Excellent. So I'm taking one down. Down a notch. While in training, you should check if, if your height is consistent. Okay. But well, during the game, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if any luck, you don't have time for that. <laughs> Biggie on two, possible on one, definitely on five. So take two off, clean one. Yeah, really get into the. You yeah. get into the mode and the rhythm of it a lot. Something happened here. No idea what that is. It's not a predator yet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Get some more. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it is. Sounds like. <laughs> ah, so what do we have? <laughs> we have a working key. Oh. <laughs> Running kind of smoothly. Yeah, that's actually. Let's, let's see if this. Oh, good test. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <It's under. laughs> Working a little harder. And this works. Uh, this will work with any anything. Rock. Any yeah. any pin tumbler. Yeah, or? Anything with pins in it. I mean that they. Uh, I, I, well, as far as I know, anything with pins in it uh, should, should be doable. Excellent. I mean the competitions are all on the same lock. Uh, yeah. And, and it's quite a good lock. But of course now we know the spacings and the depth. Mm -hmm. So normally it's made a bit more searching what the exact uh, thing sure, should sure. be. But yeah, I mean, you, you can download uh, uh, lists yeah. of the specs of what the, the, what the key oh, okay. should look so like. Okay, so you can find everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, what the, the, the spacing, the depth. You're, you're, you're working more, more with, the, with, with, the, yeah. with the calipers, of course. Excellent. Oh, this has been fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much. I really okay. appreciate it. Okay, keep practicing. And yeah, uh, yeah. I'm hoping okay. next year to open and uh, maybe someday the first American Meister. We'll do a workshop uh, before that. Excellent. Yeah. Good, good, good. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. <laughs>